Welcome, Fallout Fanatics, to another settlement video tour. We are at Coastal Cottage, and this was a viewer request from Game Town Walkthrough. She has her own channel here on YouTube where she does settlement tours, except hers has a really awesome uh, flair for cinematics and whatnot. Um, very, very cool what she does. She has uh, little stories that goes with a lot of her videos and uh, pretty fun stuff. So go ahead and check out her channel. I have linked it down below. So the challenge or request, whatever, was uh, pretty vague other than for Meyer Lurk Cakes, Yum Yum, Eat em Up, and uh, Coastal Cottage. So here we are. Let's go ahead and dive right into this one and see what uh, my twisted mind has come up with. Uh, right out here we have uh, kind of a guard tower in a sense up there that uh, provides both security as well as attracting customers. We have a couple of stop signs and some turrets down here so they can keep out the riffraff and protect everything they got going on here. Because uh, as you can see we've got a big giant wall with some uh, some secrets maybe, I don't know. Uh, a couple of guards out here, they're uh, fairly friendly. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, he agrees. <laughs> so coming on up here, we have uh, Myrlurks. They're somewhat uh, natural habitat. Uh, I have fenced off the area, and I did have actual uh, NPC Myrlurks walking around, but uh, they glitch really, really bad. They just basically walk up to a wall and keep pushing against it until they basically glitch through it, and then find a way to come up behind me and attack me. It uh, happened numerous times. I think I put like five or six of them in there, and uh, I ended up having to kill kill each and every one of them uh, one at a time as they all got through the walls and just basically came at me. Um, unfortunately it didn't work and I probably could have set up a few as uh, I made this video but would have just been too problematic. So I just did some statues instead so we got them uh, posed all over the place in different varying I don't know degrees of their lives and what they do. We got this guy getting ready to go for a swim. We got the queen out there. Some of them are they're digging in or out of the mud and whatnot and you know there you go. <laughs> we have Meyer Lurks. So this is kind of a pen for them. They are, uh, I don't want to know what the, what's the term, um, naturally raised, natural grazing, whatever, or something along those lines. You know, think of cows that basically get to roam around in a field and eat versus being locked up and uh, force-fed, you know, grain and whatever. So something similar to that. Uh, so what happens is they eventually will find their way up here. Maybe they kind of corral one at a time or tease them with the scent of dead whale and whale blood or something. But uh, they find their way up here and they come up onto this platform going after the blood and or the whale up there and then they fall through the trap door and when you go there, boom, these spikes come up and basically kill them. Uh, if you're familiar with this location, Coastal Cottage, um, there's the blown up house that's like right around here and there's like this underground cave. Um, I made it into more of a cave. Let's actually pull this floor up and put it up here so we can see by putting uh, all these solid rocks all around this place so that they can't really dig out of here and tunnel um, you know because they do kind of hide in the dirt whatnot so I didn't want them to be able to do that so we also have a whole bunch of spikes in there to keep them from getting anywhere and just in case they do survive or whatever through here. So yeah, there you go. They are uh, raised and then hoarded up this way to their death, basically. And so let's uh, head on back down here and uh, kind of start our little tour, in a sense, for the rest of this. So yeah, we got our little grazing grounds down here, and then we have our nice little walkway that kind of gives us a little bit of a look so that as people are coming through here to head to the restaurant or just to pass through, um, kind of creates a little bit of a tourist trap because you have the view here, you can see these and be like, wow, what's this all about? And then you see the restaurant and you're like, oh cool, let's go check it out, let's go eat there. Really, really good advertising. Uh, so down of here, just to have a little bit of uh, nautical decorations, and uh, we have Mandrake's Meyerlurk Cakes, and they are open for business. Um, yeah, so we have protective walls all around it, uh, complete with uh, barbed wire and whatnot. To, not so much to keep them in, but to keep people out. Uh, as you know, people can be pretty stupid sometimes, and they might say, hey, let's go in and play with the nice furry crabs, and then next thing you know, their heads lobbed off and... Yeah, lawsuits galore. So we can't be having that. 
Uh, so I didn't do too much down here. I just basically cleaned up everything, all the garbage, got rid of all that kind of stuff, and then built ourselves a nice little um, stairwell walkway that leads right up to the restaurant. So let's go ahead and head on up there. Yes. So headed yeah. up the steps, we have lanterns that help light the way so that when it is dark we can see what we're doing. And uh, yeah, let's just keep going all the way up. And sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Uh, so up here we have a nice little deck with some outdoor seating. We've got some candles and some uh, lanterns for some ambiance. We have a view that, uh, I don't know, about 200 years ago probably would have been much, much nicer. But, you know, it is what it is. That's uh, the best we can do with uh, what we got, I guess, in this post-apocalyptic world. And, uh, this is the, I don't know, I guess main entryway of Mandrake's Meyerlurk Cakes. Um, it's actually pretty fast to uh, to build this one. Didn't really take me too long. I had to start over a couple of times because I just wasn't happy with the deck and the layout here until uh, I don't know, like the third or fourth time, and then I got it pretty much perfect. So we have everything out here all on stilts that are built into the uh, granite face of the cliff here. And, uh, let's go ahead and head on inside. Oh, coming in here, we have nautical theme galore, as uh, you would pretty much expect from a place that uh, sells seafood and whatnot. So, got ourselves a nice little rowboat up there, a whole bunch of, uh, whatchamacallit, buoy thingies. I think that's what they're called, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I don't know if that's the right term. It's been forever since I've done anything nautical. Done anything naughty. Anyway, <laughs> we have ourselves a nice little wine keg and some wine bottles down here. And of course, there is supposed to be uh, a person here working behind the bar, but um, I think she's actually out there, out on the other side, just kind of leaning up against the wall. I guess uh, she's taking a smoke break. Uh, fireplace. This is um, kind of something I've been going with a lot lately that uh, you're going to see in my next, uh, I don't know, one or two builds where I'm going to kind of crazy with. Um, fireplaces, like really big, lavish fireplaces, and this is actually a dual-faced fireplace that puts out heat in uh, both directions, and this is actually kind of inspired by um, some real restaurants that I've seen uh, on my trips up to Maine and whatnot, and uh, I don't know, I did it here and really loved the idea, and then my build coming up for Spectacle Island, I did somewhat similar idea, except uh, instead of being uh, a double, it's actually a quadruple-faced fireplace. Really, really cool stuff. I think you guys are really going to like that one. Um, yeah, out here, we just, uh, you know, seating galore. We actually have a buffet, a nice little buffet with a whole bunch of uh, different types of food, including Ireland steaks, roast, an omelette, uh, meat in a... Hot, and then, of course, what makes this place the Meyerlurk Cakes. Yum, yum. Love uh, crab cakes. I actually have a really fantastic uh, recipe from my mother on homemade crab cakes. Ugh, make them every, every January for New Year's. Um, anyway, plates and bowls over here. We actually do have somebody that is in their spot where they're supposed to be. Uh, how you doing? Work to do. Can't talk now. Whoa, okay. I can take a hint. Uh, again, more nautical theme stuff out here. And then uh, outside, we have another deck out here, pretty much the uh, same as what we saw inside. Nice little nice little view, not as nice as the other one, but um, there, there we go. There's our other uh, person there, just uh, kind of sitting up there against the wall. Uh, so there is actually a purpose to coming out here, other than eating on the deck. We do have a viewing spot for the Meyerlurks as they come up here. If you uh, are into that type of thing, you can come up here and watch them come up and basically fall to their death and cheer it on. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there are some sick people that like that kind of stuff, so I decided to put a little viewing spot just for them so that they could do that. Uh, the building over here, I took the one that already existed and basically rebuilt it piece by piece. Initially, this was going to be a gift shop. Um... That didn't work out. I don't remember why, but I ended up just scrapping all the stuff that I was doing to basically make it a gift shop, and then just threw a whole bunch of beds in here, and there's enough beds now for all of the settlers in here so that they are happy. So now they have food, they have water, and they have beds, and uh, apparently a lot of sand on the floor <laughs> that I just decided to, to leave. I probably could have raised the floor to, to hide that, but whatever, who cares. Uh, here's another couple of guards out here, and I think, yeah, we actually do have a nice little fence in case we wanted to go out that way, and why, I have no idea. 
the ground here, I kind of built this up a little bit so that we had a little more um, flat space to build on and put up another little section of fence here just to keep people from wandering into the bad places. Not that they really should be down here, but, you know, whatever. Uh, added a little bit of a covered porch so that they can come out here when it's raining and not get wet. So, let's head on back inside for the uh, big, big show for this whole settlement that really makes it stand out. And that's in the kitchen. So, this is a restaurant. As you can see, we have all kinds of uh, stocked shelves here with all kinds of food and beverage and whatnot. But the big show is right here. We actually have a boiling Meyer Lurk. This was a lot of fun to put together. I got really excited when I came up with the idea. Um, I had seen this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like asset many times before. It's actually from the Far Harbor um, DLC. Uh, it does not come with like the the fire or the mire lurk in it or anything. And uh, so I added the quote unquote boiling water, put a whole bunch of fire in there so that it looks like this thing is actually being boiled. And then we do have some steam coming out of the top as well. So yeah, this thing is actually cooking. Uh, we also have a couple of pots down here with some bits of mire lurk so that uh, we can cook a whole bunch of stuff all at once. Uh, same thing in the stove there. We got some more food cooking, got some dishes being cleaned and some that still need to be cleaned and whatnot, and uh, some prep area, and yeah, a whole bunch of good fun stuff. I had, like I said, this was one of those things that I was so glad that I had thought of because I'd been planning on just putting this in here by itself, and then when I realized or remembered, I should say that I had these statues, like the ones that I put out there. I was like, oh, I got to put one in there and and make it look like it's actually being boiled. And there we go, it is actually being cooked. Uh, really, really, really cool. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy that. And in here. Of course, we got a freezer, and I used my same idea from my um, aircraft carrier build at uh, Nordhagen Beach. Put a couple of vents in here, and then used, um, oh geez, what is it, CVC, I think, or, or s'mores, or no, um, yeah, SOE maybe, I think, has that feature. I think, yeah, I think that's SOE that gives you that, uh, I think it's called like cryo smoke or something like that. It makes it look like there's uh, actual... Um, you know, condensation and uh, vapor or whatever coming out of there for cold air to keep the food cold. And, uh, yeah, there we go. This is uh, Mandrake's Meyerler Cakes Restaurant. And outside, uh, did a little bit over here. Added a little more nautical stuff. Um, again, we have our little guard tower there. And I was kind of going to make this into a play area for kids and I guess I just never finished it either forgot about it or abandoned it and just kind of left it as this little um, I don't know boat cabin thing and uh, put a tour up there so I guess maybe we really don't want kids playing around there so they don't accidentally shoot their finger off or something uh, the windmills are functional they do provide water for the settlement and uh, up top we do have the fireplace top that connects directly to the actual fireplace down below. I just added the smoke myself so that, uh, yeah, you can see the fires are burning and uh, we're open for business. So, uh, I'm going to quickly turn it to night so we can see this place all lit up. So let's go ahead and get into our cheat terminal real fast. Uh, let's make it so, oh, I don't know, maybe like 3 a.m. or something. Uh, let's see, yeah, perfect, 3 a.m. Now it's dark, and now you can see it all lit up. And so yes, we do have our spotlights that actually do make uh, light all the way down towards the road. It's, uh, again, part for security and part for uh, attracting customers. And, uh, yeah, got ourselves a nice little lit up walkway. Huh? And you are not supposed to be under the stairs. I don't know what you're doing down there, but uh, there we go. Here's a nice little view of what it looks like all lit up at night. We have uh, candles and lanterns all over the place. Uh, the whole walkway is all nicely lit up, so that's uh, safe travels all the way up to the restaurant. And uh, there we go. That is Mandrake's Meyerlerk's Cake here at Coastal Cottage. Again, this was a viewer request from Game Town Walkthroughs. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this. I hope this met all your expectations and then some. Uh, if you would like to make a request, just leave it in the comments below. I love making settlements that uh, you guys choose. You can give me a theme or not a theme. You can just give me a location. It's really up to you. Um, I find it more fun when I do have a theme from you guys so that uh, I can try to meet your expectations and hopefully exceed them. And uh, yeah, 
This one was a, a lot of fun. I've built here only a couple of times, and it's one of those locations that, um, other than when I did the Beetlejuice house, I've never really had good success with uh, doing anything here just because I could not figure out what the heck to do with this place. And so it was uh, really nice to have somebody give me a challenge of something with a theme that uh, gave me plenty of ideas to run with. So, yeah, there you go. If you uh, Again, like I said, if you guys want to make a request, please uh, leave it in the comments below. I do read and respond to pretty much all of them, and I'm more than happy to uh, to oblige. And let's see, any announcements that I have forgotten about? Oh, okay, so as of viewing of this video, we have finished up our Let's Build at Taffington Boathouse. Don't worry, there is going to be another series coming up at Adam Cat's Garage. So uh, I hope you guys will join me with the continuation of my Let's Build series. Um, got another uh, settlement tour coming up in a couple of weeks. That is another viewer request for Spectacle Island. I don't really want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil it. Uh, all I want to say is it is probably... Uh, one of the biggest of, well, again, I don't want to really give it away, but one of the biggest of what it is that you have probably ever seen in this entire game. And uh, that'd be a, a record breaker there, so who knows? We'll see. Uh, again, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any requests, please let me know, and I will see you all very, very soon. Until then, don't get irradiated.